Welcome back to the channel, guys. My boy, what do you think? He just got an update on Shador Sanders. And it looks like he's hurt pretty bad. And he didn't play for the game today. I just got this news today, so I'm posting it today. And this is the um, Saturday, Saturday the 25th. So um, thanks for hitting the like. Thanks for making comments. And thanks for subscribing to the channel. Let's listen to my boy. What do you think? Shador Sanders, the quarterback of the Colorado Buffaloes. His question is, is he or will he play today at Utah or will he not? Or will he have a limited role? What is going on with Shador? Why the secrecy? Why the no comment on his playing status? So, you're sitting around. There's not much coming. You don't just want to put anything out there. You want to do a little homework. You want to ask some questions. You want to find out what you know from different people. And what do you know? Sometimes you just got to ask. That's how it is in life. And I just said that. I just went to someone that I know and I just asked. Will he play or won't he play? What is going on with your door? Why, why, what's the secrecy? Like, what don't we know? Just tell me. I mean, I'm just asking flat out now. It's the last game. Give it to me. And this is what I got. In the UCLA game, you saw it, we all saw it. He took a shot from that linebacker at UCLA. Flat, straight in the chest, flat on his back, drove him. Bang! We all saw that hit. That hit is what I was told caused a slight tear crack in one of his ribs. So it's making it difficult for him to breathe. It's making him difficult for him to raise his arm and throw the ball with any velocity. If you notice, he's thrown a lot of ducks and wobblers lately. That is coming from the bruised cracked rib that will not heal. And that is because Shador is such a strong-willed young man that he has been fighting his coach, his father, about playing in the playing time and being on the field and showing that team he won't quit on them that he's a true leader. That is admirable. And we all respect that 100%. But the issue here is, is the not healing part. And that's where, AKA, the father is stepping in for the coach. Prime is now saying, you know what? I need you to heal and heal properly and not have any long-term effects. This is where the indecision of will he play on game day or not. And so a different standard has been set for Shador. He will only be allowed to go out on a field and play if he can prove to them before the game he doesn't need a shot. And then he has to be able to throw the ball at a certain velocity and a certain distance down the field consistently in his warmups to show them without the shot that he can lift his arm and force the ball downfield and make accurate, you know, strong throws. If he can't meet that criteria, the father, Dion, has said no. The coach is already on the fence. And he wants to say no, but he, he wants to give his son every chance he can as the coach. But the father is laying the rules down here now. That's the word that I'm getting. It is not the coach prime. It is the father prime. He wants Shador to be at least, no one at the end of the season is completely 100%. But he wants him to be able to be able to protect himself. He wants him to be able to be able to make the throws and plays necessary to help the team move the ball. If he does not show that leading into the game, at best, he will get limited opportunity out on the field and then pull. Okay, we gave you the start. We gave you the opportunity. We respect your strength, your courage, your toughness, and your will to help lead this team. But now you're showing that it's not there off the field. You got to go income style. And that's what we're going to leave it at right there. So that's why 
Shador Sanders is not playing today. And that's an update on Shador Sanders' injury. I'm really feeling pretty bad for the kid. Uh, but all year, we know, most of you guys have been keeping up with the Colorado Buffaloes. The offensive line was allowing guys to come in and hit Shador. But next year, I'm hearing that we're going to have some great offensive linemen, some five-star offensive linemen, and some five-star defensive backs. So we're going to be looking a lot better next year. With that said, I want to thank my boy. What do you think of that? Thank you guys for hitting the channel, for subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for hitting the like. Thank you guys for making comments. And I'm done breaking bread.